Hello there, welcome to another video from tipsforchina.com. Visit tipsforchina.com for all the best VPN reviews and speed tests done from China, as well as the best uh, discounts, coupon codes, and special offers. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to flash the ExpressVPN router app on a fairly cheap uh, Linksys router. Until now, the ExpressVPN router app has only been available for a few high-end models of Linksys routers the WRT 1200 AC and 1900 ACS and 3200 ACS. Um, just recently I noticed that the Linksys EA6200 was added to the list of supported routers. So I checked on uh, Taobao and I found a few sellers that are selling secondhand XAC1200, which is actually um, what they claim has the same hardware and can flash the same firmware as the EA6200. Which, as you will see in a moment, turned out to be true. Now, if you would like more information on this uh, router that I bought on Taobao, you can check the link in the description. Before we get started here, I'm just going to go over how I plan to connect this VPN router into my network at home. I plan to connect it as a secondary router from my main router. And that way I'll have two separate networks that I can connect to, one with a VPN and one without a VPN. And to do that, I will connect a cable from any one of the spare LAN ports on my main router to the internet or WAN port on the VPN router after I've finished flashing the ExpressVPN router app firmware. Okay, let's get started. Um, first thing we're going to do is go to the ExpressVPN website and download the firmware for the Linksys EA6200. So do that. Uh, log into my account here. Set up ExpressVPN router and select your router. EA6200. Download firmware. And while that's downloading, I'm just going to go ahead and open these two instruction pages. And in case I need to reference these instructions, I'm going to lose access to the internet. After, once I do the flashing, so make sure those are pages are loaded before continuing. After that download is finished, you're going to want to open your network adapters. In Windows, the easiest way to do that is just press the Windows key plus R and then type ncpa.cpl and press enter. So I got my network adapters here. I'm going to disable the Wi-Fi adapter because we need to flash the firmware using the Ethernet and make sure your ethernet is enabled in case you've disabled it. Mine is ethernet 3 here and it's enabled. Okay, let's take a look at this um, 180 RMB router from Taobao here and see what we have. Should get a power supply, the router and an ethernet cable. Go ahead first and plug in the power supply. Plug the Ethernet cable into my computer, and my computer doesn't actually have an Ethernet jack, so I'm using a USB Ethernet jack. And the router, it's actually not too bad looking for a secondhand router, 180 RMB. And you're going to plug the other end of that cable into any one of the four LAN ports on the router. For those of you who are not in China, um, 180 RMB is around uh, 30 US dollars and I think you can buy this router for a similar price on Amazon. I will uh, leave a link in the description. Next step is to open your web browser and type in uh, 192.168.1.1. Say yes to both of these uh, questions here. So this is the screens that you'll see if your router has never been used before. Uh, go ahead, uh, press login. And the default password is admin, A-D-M-I-N for this router. So use that password to sign in. Now if you've already been using your router, then you'll get to this page right away. So I'm going to click on connectivity. And from here, I should be able to upload the file I downloaded. Uh, yes, uh, ExpressVPN uh, firmware router app. Select the file and click on start. Update firmware, yes, continue. So this will take a few minutes. I'm just gonna speed up the video here to save some time. So just be patient with this. Uh, it can take a few minutes sometimes. 
your router is rebooting, okay. Now, once the router um, reboots, if it's successful, um, the a web browser should just open automatically um, with the ExpressVPN router interface. There it is. If you don't see that, you can just go to expressvpnrouter.com and that should take you to this page as well. So the default password is still admin. The username is also admin. You can change this later, of course. Now, as I do not have an internet connection yet on this router, I'm just going to choose the option here, enable internet without VPN. And I'm going to change some of the settings on the router first before I connect it. So under the setup tab, everything looks good here. I'm going to go over to the wireless tab here and change the regulatory domain to China. I'm not sure uh, what difference that makes. I think certain uh, what channels on the 2.4 gigahertz may be available depending on what country you choose. I'm going to change the wireless network name, SSID. I'm going to call my 5 gigahertz channel a VIP50. I'm going to change the channel to auto. And then the 2.4 gigahertz, I will use the name VIP24. And uh, those other settings look okay. So press save after you've uh, done your settings. Okay, now I'm finished with the basic settings. I'm going to go to the wireless security tab and change the Wi-Fi password. And I'm just going to put a temporary password here for this uh, video, uh, VIP James. I'll change it later, so don't be coming to my house trying to get on my Wi-Fi. VIP James. Save that. And then once you've done all the settings, you want to click Apply Settings. Don't forget to apply settings. That's a very important step. Okay, um, after, we're, after we've done that, open the network adapters again. And I'm going to go ahead and disable this Ethernet. Um, adapter which I'm no longer going to use and I'm going to enable my Wi-Fi adapter again. So once my Wi-Fi adapter is enabled I should be able to see those two networks VIP24 and VIP50. So I'm just going to connect to VIP50 even though um, I haven't connected the internet to the router yet but I'll just do a quick test to make sure that the Wi-Fi connection is successful. And that looks okay. Next step is to remove the cable from the LAN and move it to the internet or the WAN port. Unplug the other end from the computer and unplug my router. I'm going to move it over to my main router. I'm going to plug the other end of that LAN cable into the spare LAN port, which is LAN 4 on my main router. And uh, we're ready to go. So I'm going to connect uh, to VIP50 again. And this time the VPN router has an internet connection. So now I can uh, go ahead and activate using the activation code which I copied from the setup page. Activating. And just give it a moment while the activation is taking place. Okay, it looks like we're activated and the connection attempt is being made to connect to uh, USA Los Angeles 3. And we are connected. Just going to do a quick speed test and see what kind of speed we can get from this router. The latency is uh, 188 milliseconds. It's not too bad for uh, USA to China. And the speed is uh, still speeding up, but it looks like about 10 megabits per second, which is not too bad for this little rotor. Now 
Okay, that's enough. Let's uh, make a test here on my Roku. So I've connected a Roku to my uh, Xiaomi TV in my living room. The VIP50 network um, it's not available because it's in a different room than my router and I guess the 5 gigahertz signal isn't strong enough to reach to that room so I've went ahead and connected to the VIP24 network and I'm just going to play a few titles from Netflix here and then after that I uh, will play um, some YouTube and I've removed the audio because I don't want to get a copyright violation for playing videos which I don't own the copyright to so I'll just play a few seconds from from a few different titles and make sure everything is playing smoothly which it seems to be so far I think the videos are loading in about uh, three or four seconds and they're playing smoothly without any problems in high definition I think the quality of my camera is not very good here so you can't really see the quality of the video that well but um, it's playing very well and uh, very clear no uh, buffering or stuttering just plays smoothly from from the first time when I press play I'll try another one Okay, that's enough for Netflix. I'm going to go back on the router interface and change the server to Hong Kong One because that will perform better for YouTube. Now, if you're interested in uh, getting more information on what are the best uh, VPN servers to use in China, check my, on my website, tipsforchina.com. There's a page on there called uh, 2017 VPN in China blog, and that has a lot more in-depth information on the situation in China and which servers you should use. So uh, YouTube is playing very nicely here, loaded up right away, high definition. It's going to play, play a few different um, YouTube videos and uh, make sure everything is working good. Yeah, loading fast and playing very well, not stopping at all. Go through a few more here. Yeah, you can see videos uh, start up really fast because that um, Hong Kong server has a direct uh, connection to mainland China. So you get a really low latency about uh, usually between 15 and 20 milliseconds. So with that low latency, those uh, videos just load up right away. Looks like we have an advertisement here. Skip the ad. Working very well so far. Just uh, try one more video. Okay, the last one. Yeah, YouTube and Netflix are both working very well. And that is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit tipsforchina.com where you can find all the best uh, VPN reviews and speed tests done from China. And I also have some uh, very good uh, discounts, special offers, free trials, things like this. And in fact, I have a very nice uh, special offer on right now for ExpressVPN. So if you go over to tipsforchina.com, you can find that. I'm also going to put up a tutorial on the website within the next few days here giving some written instructions on how to flash this router. So if you had trouble following the video um, you can check that link in the description for the written instructions. I will also include the links for the uh, Taobao seller where I bought this router from 
as well as some links for um, Amazon or someplace where you can buy this router outside of China.